after you establish your goal, the next step is chunk it down. What are all the tasks, tasks, I mean actions, what are all the tasks that we need to take to get that goal done? And then we take them to the next worksheet, which is, huh, if I were to sequence those tasks, what comes first, what comes second, what comes third, what comes fourth? Don't do those two steps together. Because if your brain starts the process, task and timing, together, um, you, you, it just won't work. So if you do this on a word processor, you move things up and down, you cut and paste. Yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. You can brainstorm yeah. with someone else on your team to organize the goal, and then organize the structure of what comes in week number one, which week number two, week number three. Well, sure. I, I mean, don't try to do all the task brainstorming by yourself either. You know, if, if you've got some people, some trusted advisor, a coach, um, a staff that you would like to engage in breaking down. Uh, we always try to get people to focus on what are the top three goals for this next 90 days. Now, of course, you've got a whole bunch more than three goals that you've already laid out for a full year, but then you, you back it up and you say, okay, well, what are the top three that I have to get done in the next 90 days. Okay, got it. Now, presumably, you've, you've written those goals in a smart way, okay? And so once you do it that way, then chunking it down, and look, I, you don't have to have the complete answer. I mean, that's why you can talk to your advisor, your business coach, your employees about helping you break this stuff down. Um, you can even talk to a subcontractor and say, um, geez, I, I, I want to get this done, but I, 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 I'm going to need you, in my mind, to do the following. What do you think? Um, there's not, In many respects, there's nothing better than some feedback. Yep.